Welcome everyone to Technology and Engineering. I'm so excited to have you here in class. My name is Amy Borges. In middle school, you will have trimester related arts courses for about 12 weeks. Engineering classes will change as you enter different grades. The three courses are Engineering for Everyone, grade six, Engineering Design, grade seven, and robotics in grade eight. Engineering for everyone in grade six is designed to introduce you to the problem solving process. Here you will do hands-on activities to troubleshoot different structures and systems. In grade six, we will build truss bridges, cranes, rubber band cars, and circuits. For the popsicle stick truss bridge, you will get 50 popsicle sticks and masking tape to prototype your structure. One requirement for the bridge project is that your structure must be a truss style bridge, which means you must incorporate triangles. We will test these structures on a bridge testing device. For the crane prototype, you will build a model crane and test it to see how much weight it can lift. The purpose of a crane is to lift heavy loads. The rubber band car project focuses on the energy that is stored in a rubber band. The rubber band will wrap around the rear axle of your car and when it is wound up and then placed on the ground it will release its energy spinning the wheels. We will test your cars to see which can travel the farthest distance. In grade 7 we learn sketching, measurement, 3D modeling, and prototyping skills. Sketching and measurement are used by engineers to convey design ideas. An engineering sketch includes an isometric or three-dimensional representation of an object, and it also includes a multi-view sketch of the top, front, and right views. You will also learn how to use calipers to measure height, width, and depth. We will use Tinkercad to create 3D models. We will also learn specific computer design techniques like moving for a specific distance, grouping, duplicating, and manipulating. We will design and build a three-dimensional puzzle cube from smaller wooden blocks. The puzzle will be fabricated according to a specific list of criteria or requirements. Once you have mastered designing and prototyping, we will apply your knowledge to a dog assistive device prototype. There is a real-life need to provide assistive devices to animals with physical injuries. You will work on designing and fitting an assistive device to a stuffed animal dog. When constructing this prototype, you will have access to plastic structural material and brass fasteners wooden and plastic wheels, and flat foam pieces for crafting the cart seat or saddle.
In grade 8, we learn robotics skills, such as assembly fabrication, sensors, programming decisions, and program flow. After you experiment with and learn programming, you will build a standard drive-based robot and program it to navigate through a simple maze. We will learn about sensors and you will use a light sensor to detect a black line creating a line tracking robot. We've all heard of bumper cars, so much fun. In robotics class you will modify your robot to become a bumper bot with the purpose of tapping opponent's bumpers in order to get them out of a match. Our final robotics project is to build a claw bot and program that bot to manipulate a cube. You will program this robot both autonomously to move on its own and with teleoperated control, which means operated by a remote control. I hope this gives you an idea of what engineering will look like for you as a middle school student. I am so happy to get the opportunity to work with you all this year.